Okay, I'm going to be discussing how to get a Power BI desktop icon uh, like this right here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And the first step we're going to do is we're going to open up the File Explorer. Next, we're going to go up to the bar up top here, and we're going to click on this, and we're going to delete. Then we're going to type shell colon apps folder. So these are all the apps that are on our computer, and so we're going to scroll to find Power BI desktop app. I see that right down there at the bottom left. So we're going to come over here, right click, we'll click create shortcut, and then we'll say click yes here, and that should put it onto our computer here. So now the final thing is to rename this just Power BI. You can find these instructions written out at this web address right here. So the reason we have to go through that process is because there's two different ways that we can download uh, Power BI. Uh, the first is the typical way, which is you install a uh, download uh, a file and then you have an executable in that file and then to create a shortcut to that all we would do is just find where that executable is on the computer and then create a shortcut to that executable uh, but this one has a different way as well which is the way they recommend which is you go into the, some Microsoft store and download it directly from a store and they recommend you do this there's a video here that talks about um, the two different options and talks about why they recommend it but um, that is the one they, they lead you to and the issue is when you do it that way you no longer have that ability to go in find an executable and then create a shortcut because there is no executable so this method that I just showed works when you do install it the recommended way through the Microsoft Store this will get you a shortcut Page by far the easiest way to install Power BI and the way I'd recommend doing it is clicking on the download free button. When you click on this, this will open up the Microsoft Store on the Power BI download page. If you haven't installed it yet, this text here will say install. Once you've installed it, you'll be able to launch it. Now once again, downloading Power BI desktop is entirely free. You don't need an enterprise account. You don't need a commercial account. Anyone can download Power BI desktop. The benefit of installing through the Microsoft Store is anytime Power BI updates, you automatically get those updates. Anytime any of the components change, the Microsoft Store will only download the pieces that change, so the updates should be pretty quick and easy. And lastly, a nice added benefit is you don't have to be the admin uh, logged onto your machine. You could be any user to go ahead and install Power BI desktop. This is one way you could download and install. If you prefer, there's also another option where you could click on see download or language options. When you click on this, this does not go through the Microsoft Store. Instead, you could download an EXE and then you could install it on your own. So here on the page, you simply go ahead, choose the language that you want to install in, and then click on the download button. On the download page, you could either choose 64-bit or 32-bit, depending on what type of system you're on, and then go ahead and click next and it'll download an EXE that you can install on your machine. Those are the two ways you could install. Once again, I would recommend going with the first option where you click on download here.